Yeah, briefly, um, one of the most beautiful places in the Qur'an that deals with the issue of ethnic diversity. First of all, we're told we come from a single source, Adam and Eve. That all humanity in that sense is a large family, no, no matter what you know, uh, color skin you have and what region you come from. Right. We've been put on the same playing field and there's no superiority left because you're all from the same family. Just like siblings can't say, I'm from a superior race. Because you have the same father, you're the same race. So we've been put on the same sort of equal footing because of that belief of a single origin. Okay. This is what eliminates racism from Islam, that one statement. Then the question arises, how come God created all these different nations? And God says, وَجَعَلْنَاكُمْ شُعُوبًا وَقَبَائِلًا لِتَعَارَفُوا I only made you nations and tribes so you can get to know yourselves and one another. Okay. The Ta'aruf in Arabic it means it's something that applies to yourself and others. So you really get to know yourself better in, in contrast with others. And we're learning, you learn, a lot about, you learn a lot about yourself when you meet people from different tradition. It's a, it's a way of learning about yourself. And those of you that travel, or our viewers that travel, or meet people from other, uh, other faiths, or other uh, ethnicities, other countries, other regions, know that that's a very self-learning experience. You develop yourself. You, you discover something about yourself when you meet people from other uh, nations and tribes. The idea is... It's, it takes away from the assumption that nations are supposed to be those that look out for self-interest and they're supposed to, that is the ultimate good and so whatever serves the cause of the nation, even if it's at the expense of spilling blood from another nation it's fine, it's justifiable. That is negated in Islam. In other words, we are now one large family, believer or non-believer doesn't even matter we have been made one large family and we have to get to know ourselves through knowing one another. And that also adds another uh, you know, barrier to racism. Most racism is rooted in the fact that we don't know the other civilization. You don't know anything about them. What you don't know you're afraid of, or you can even easily hate. When you get to know it, then your, the assumptions you have about them start getting dropped. So the word لتعارف is really beautiful there, because it actually, you know, it makes you want to appreciate diversity. And makes you want to, it's almost as though God is asking you to get to know other people. لتعارفوا. And then he says, okay, fine. You know, any, every nation can get nationalistic, every people can get patriotic and say they're number one, they're the best. Mm -hmm. Whether it be based on race, religion, ethnicity, etc., etc. So God says, okay, you know what, let me tell you what does make you the best. Same verse. Inna akramakum indallahi atqakum. The most noble of you, as from God's perspective, indallahi atqakum is the one that's most conscious of Him. Consciousness of God is something that rests in the heart. Okay. You can't see it on my face. I don't wear it as a sticker. I don't have an ID that says I'm God conscious. It's something that's inside my heart. And since you are not able to see inside my heart and not, I not inside yours, I am no longer to establish myself as more noble than you and you more noble than I. We're all on the same footing. And the only one who knows who ranks where is who now? God himself. Okay. He, he took that right away from us. That's the beauty of this verse. It's the verse of human equality and universal human dignity. We have to give each other benefit of the doubt. Only God knows where we stand.